Hey YouTubers, it's me, Lonnie Clark, again. Um, I wanted to share with you, I'm sort of busting at the gut. This is the third time I've tried to make a video. The first time I was all over the place, the second time it was too long. So let's hope this one is just right. <laughs> I just attended this. This explained to me why we're in the state we're in with the nuclear industry. How they get away with it. How we have all these unconscionable laws. I went to democracy school, and this guy explained to us, essentially, I'm going to show you the picture that he drew on the board. This is the beginning of the lecture. I don't know if you can see that, but they studied this democracy school. They started putting it on about 10 years ago. Hold on. Let's see if I can get it so that the light doesn't reflect on it or something. I don't know. If I can see it on there, I think you guys can see it. There you go. So you see how it has the numbers 1500, 1800, 1917, that's through history. And at the top here, it explains, is the oppression, property rights. And at the bottom is civil rights, when the people push back and want their rights, they're sick of being slaves, right? So you can see how it goes up, and he made mention how the, you can see how it gets stronger up, it's getting stronger. And there was a dot, 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 because we're headed back down to right. Like, we thought we won, but we're springing back up again. So, but there, this room was packed. There was probably 30 people in there attending this seminar. Uh, every seat was filled that they had in the room. Or maybe they had 30 seats set up. I don't know. Maybe they would have had 100 seats set up if they had 100. I hadn't thought of that. Sorry. Anyways, um... They took us basically through how the laws were written and how it has turned out that we now have uh, basically such an oppressive system that we get we have a system where um, we have no rights as an entity as a um, this is what we get to use in the court of law. This is from the Community Environmental Legal Defense Fund. Their main office is out of Pennsylvania. Oh, man, I'm going to go look up their uh, 990. Uh, this is the box of allowable remedies, the legal doctrines, which dictate the scope of allowable community remedies. So this is the first box. says state preemption, either explicit or field preemption, trumps ordinances and municipal decisions made which conflict with state statutes or, agencies re or agency regulations. And then we have corporate commerce rights. As a non as a non personhood right, corporations can claim the municipal decisions violate the commerce clause of the Constitution and seek damages as a result. And then we have this corporate personhood constitutional right. Corporations can claim that municipal laws and decisions take property from them under the Fifth Amendment. State issued permits are considered property in violation of corporate constitutional rights and sue municipalities for damages caused by those laws and decisions. Nature as property, because nature is property, any interference with the use of that property may constitute a Fifth Amendment takings of that property. And um, Dillon's Law. Under the law, municipalities are legally treated as children to the state parent, and the state is considered the parent. Thus, communities can only do what the state specifically authorizes it to do. And this is, says what communities are allowed to do. Enforce state regulations by appealing permits issued to the state to resource, corp to, to resource corporations. Lobby regulation agencies to enforce state regulations. Work with corporations to get voluntary agreements uh, on practices adverse to the community. That's the only legal rights communities have right now um, until you get this. Community rights. We need to have community rights. There's a petition going on here. I did not know about it. Community rights of Lane County. There are petitions going around where we're, we're going to change the state legislature that says Communities have a right, and then we'll have rights. 
So this down here says, this document is provided for educational purposes. It is not intended as legal advice, should not deem to be the offering of legal services, and is not presented in advocacy in support of or in opposition to particular legislation. So I got this, and man, was that really handy in understanding where we're at and how, how attorneys that are in the system can defend this. And this is, look at this. And the center is community rights. And look what gets in the way, the whole way down. It is really interesting. There was another one that was really cool that I, I don't know what happened to it. But this democracy, democracy school really did open up my eyes. I would encourage everybody to contact this organization, uh, the Community, Community Environmental Legal Defense Fund. It's CELDF.org, CELDF. And it says it right here. This is where you can reach them. But as anti nukers, this is an organization that help, will help us understand the laws. And we can brainstorm with them, which I'm going to do. I'm going to contact them. I not only want them on my radio show, but I want to brainstorm how we can be more effective in closing down the nuke plants immediately, which are a clear and present danger to all life on our planet. And I don't. And many people in the room, when I said that last night, said, "Yeah, yeah, it is." I mean, I said that openly, and I I believe it. And there was somebody who works for 350.org there, and I hope that we can open that window with 350.org because I would love to join forces with them. Because this is really important. So let's let's put our courage feet on, man. Let's take some action. Obviously, we're in the swing where we're going to be deciding we're going to take it back. Because we have to. If we don't, I mean, as it is, we barely have a chance in hell. But let's at least give it the all-American try. Or all-human try. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Put your courage feet on, you guys. Take some action. Call Cell Def, and I'm really glad that I went and did this. My brain was aching. I really like wanted to not do this after studying all week, but um, I think that's why I had to come home and make a video just to sort of whew, unload to people who really do understand me <laughs> and understand what I'm doing. So. Put your courage feet on, you guys. We'll talk to you soon. And thank you, everybody, who supports my YouTube channel and supports my efforts. And uh, thank you for taking action in whatever, all of the ways that we're all doing it. So thank you all. And I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll talk with you guys soon. Ciao.